Hi guys, it's Dr. Linda Kramer. Hi, and thanks for watching again. Okay, today I'm going to talk about how the word if works. Okay, first thing that we've got to realize is that as human beings, we have different ways of communication. One of those is our physical communication styles. I always talk with my hands, okay? Other people use their own body language, which is that physical form that we use to identify and to, it shows our personality. So we do read each other through our body language or our physical communication styles. Then we have audio, which is what we hear. We hear a bird sing. We don't know what that bird is saying, but it makes us feel an emotion. Yes. So when we as humans communicate, we've got to look at what the audio of that representation of the um, communication does to the other person. What does it reflect in them? And, you know, if you look at the mirror effect, because I love the mirror effect, making other people aware of their behaviours by how they reflect on me, per se, okay? <clears throat> So today I'm going to talk about ways that we communicate where we are actually showing the person we are. And I'm also going to show you ways of how to deal with what sort of person you are. OK, so let's get back there to the word if I F two simple words. It can mean absolutely nothing in a sentence. Or it can mean a whole sentence within those two simple letters. So the word if can have both negative and positive outcomes. It's all in the way we use it. And if, huh? see, if we intend it to be negative or positive. Now remember here, guys, with the, with the, a mirror effect and how it works. What we put out, we get back in. Okay? And it also works in the reverse. What we have in reflects out onto other people. So what we say is reflected in the people that we associate with. Okay? So let's go there with the word if. It can be negative or positive. So the first one I want to talk to you about is how it becomes a negative. If in a sentence can represent an ultimatum. If you're home late tonight, I'm going to go to bed early. That's an ultimatum. It means what behaviour that person does, there's going to be a consequence or a punishment if they do what that person says. If you break the law, there will be a fine. See how it becomes an ultimatum where there's a punishment or a consequence when we use it. If you do this, I will do this. So what does that actually create in both the parties? The first person who says the word if as a ultimatum, it shows that they are bigger, higher, more entitled, or they feel privileged more than the other person. They've put themselves up on that higher pedestal where they're looking down on the other person. If you don't go to school today, you're not getting chocolate. <clears throat> See, like a parent puts that ultimatum on a child. So then that parent is in that higher stature than the child. OK. If in an ultimatum shows that that person saying it has a control over that situation. It means I am not happy if you do that thing. That's what it's all about. So let's just talk about some sentences. 
if you don't put out the bins tonight, the garbage man comes, bins won't get emptied, it's going to be all your fault if you don't put out the bins. So I talk about in my book called Heal to Success how this was an ultimatum. If you've received my book, Heal to Success, hello, I wrote it about four years ago. And it's still being um, out there. I give it out every day to people. When we use if in an ultimatum, what we're actually creating in the other person is that they're less than us. They have less value. They have less worth. They have less self-ego. They have less love, affection, devotion, understanding, compassion. So we're actually putting that person down by using the word if. Now let's just go through a few societal relationships we have. First one is our family. If, as an ultimatum, who says that in the family? Where is it in the connotation of the sentence? What does it represent to that person who says it? <coughs> Reflecting out onto the other person. If you're at work. And you use the word if. Have a look who uses it. Does it the boss that uses it to show that control? If you don't finish that report today and it doesn't get submitted, we're going to lose that budget or whatever. We'll use that client. So that's where the manager has that control over his subordinate staff. So he's putting out that ultimatum. If it doesn't get submitted today, we're going to use that, lose that client. So there's that punishment, okay? Okay, so it's all about control. And what it does, it creates doubts. And it creates insecurities in the other person. Oh my God, I'm not good enough. I've got to get it done right now. I'm not good enough, okay? So now, have a look at how you use the word if in a sentence with others. When we sit there and we analyse ourselves, because a lot of people don't, they think they're doing the right thing out there and they're not, they're no hurry to do any sort of personal development on themselves. They just think that they are right, they, they have their own thoughts, they're allowed to be doing whatever they do. And that's fine because that's free will, yes? Okay. But let's now talk about it as a positive. When we use if as a positive, that sentence becomes something like, if you feel like it later, would you like to come over? If <clears throat> you're not tired, do you mind if we do this? If we do this. Because what that's doing that shows respect. That's giving that other person the option to make a decision about what they themselves want to do. Hey, Linda, I'm thinking about having a party this weekend. If you're free, would you like to come? See how that's respectful? It's showing consideration. It's showing that they value me as a person to allow me to have my own free will and decision on what I want to do. There's no ultimatum in there, is there? No. So it builds self-worth. It gives us confidence. Oh my gosh, now I've got a decision to make. What do I want to do this weekend? Do I want to go there? Do I want to do that? Do I want to stay home and do that or that? Oh, I've got that choice. I've got that decision to make. So it builds all this beautiful self-worth, self-appreciation self-respect and most of all self-love because we like the fact that we are in charge of who we are. No one ever can be in charge or control another person. Now that in itself is going to hurt a lot of people because there are so many people out there right now on all over the world who like to be in charge and control their partners, their children, their parents, their neighbours, their co-workers, their best friends excuse me so 
when we use the word if as a positive, that's when we're identifying that we in ourself have self-value because we now afford the other person their own choice. We are so confident in ourselves that we don't mind if that person turns around and says, oh, sorry, I'm busy tonight. Okay, so it's a reflection <coughs> of how we use it. Okay, so this is where we sit there and we analyze ourselves and we say to ourselves, I just said the word if. What did it mean to that other person? So put yourself into that perspective of the other person if you use the word if. If you use the word if. See how I'm using it positively? Because it's your choice. So it's positive. If you wish to analyze yourself, you may find out something about yourself that you didn't know before. You may find out, oh my God, I'm so nasty to so many people. I didn't realize that I was giving everybody ultimatums all the time. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I was actually putting those people down just through our communication style of using two simple letters. If. So, just remember, guys, our communication styles are a reflection of who we are. If we are that sort of person that use the words if negatively, we will have so many people around us who also judge and accuse and need to be control freaks. However, if we choose to use the word if more politely, more respectfully, more positively. What we find is that we are now attracting in, because it's all energy, we attract in other people who are respectful, kind, loving, beautiful people. Isn't it amazing how the energy of the universe works that magic? Okay. Yeah, so when we use the word if in a positive way, we are actually saying we allow you to be whoever you are. We allow you and we accept you for who you are and we respect you so much that we're going to give you that decision to do whatever you want to do and we won't be offended, upset, retaliate, make a judgment or punishment to that person for going against what we want. And we just accept and don't cast judgment on that person. Pretty big lesson for a lot of people, I think, today, hey? So, which side of the banner are you on whenever you say the word if? How do we find out if we use if incorrectly or correctly in the universal energies? So there's a couple of ways to do that. <clears throat> One is to go back and look at your conversations that you have with people. If you're on the phone, record the conversation. I've done this many times because my phone records every conversation. I do. I've got that in my settings. So every conversation, I can go back and listen to how I talk to other people. So I can sit there and analyze what I've said, and then I can say, oh my God, I didn't mean to say it like that. What am I going to do in the future to make it better? What am I going to do in the future to make that person feel that I wasn't condescending, or I wasn't judging them, or accusing them of something, or I wasn't being belittling them? <clears throat> what can I do to make it better? So look at your own feedback, guys. If you're writing texts or emails, go back and read them again and say, oh my God, I didn't even realize I was being sarcastic or I was really abusing that person. Or you may have an eye opener and say, oh my God, <clears throat> look how much respect and free will choice did I give that to that person when I, when I asked them, if you're free tonight, do you want to come over for a coffee? Because it is an eye opener. When we look at our own communication and two simple letters, if, can make it so clear in the universal energies 
about what sort of person we are on the inside. And ultimately, guys, it all comes down to free will. It's all our own decision if we change. If we change. If we wish to change. And it's when we decide that we want to change, become a better person than who we were yesterday. That's when the magic of the universe really starts. So I hope you've enjoyed this one today, guys. Talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.